he was still working there and running the jails and let it corrode. Now I'm going to tell you something about the commissioners. I don't care what commissioner he hires, go over a couple of bullets. Many years ago, I had a captain and her two children die in a house fire. Yet! Yet! The mayor elects office, Eric Adams, Ms. Ingrid, P. Lewis Martin, chaplain for office, Eric Adams' office. Where is he? We here. We here. He's not here. We here. We right 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 here. that officers deserve will be given to them. Day one is a new day for corrections under the Eric Adams administration. We know how hard you work. We value you, we trust you, and we believe in you. He's out of the country today, but Curtis Slee was here in solidarity with correction. And remember, I'm the only candidate for any office that's actually been locked up on Rikers Island. I know what it's like to be in a dormitory. I know what it's like to be in a cell. I know what it's like when the correctional officers are crapped all over the administrators get wine dined in pocket line and the men and women of the department are forced to work slave hours, three tours a day. That's an outrage. You don't have that in a third world country. I go over a couple of bullets. Many years ago, I had a captain and her two children die in a house fire. Well, the first thing that I hope to change is for the bozo to get out of office. And I pray that um, uh, Mr. Adams, I hope he's able to take that seat and make a lot of changes within his department. At one time, this was a very rewarding job while we worked it and as a retiree. It's just, it's, it's not the same today. He doesn't care. Asshole! 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 You think he gives a rat's ass about a correction officer? I'm going to say something else. Black Lives Matter. And 80% of the men and women that work on Rikers Island are people of color. But how come their black asses don't matter? How come they don't matter? Why? Because they're not out committing crimes? All lives matter, and the black lives that wear the uniform each and every day, they matter more. We're human too. We believe right just like them. I ain't put them in jail. Well, like, well, like I said, I, I did 21 years. Thank God I've never been assaulted, you know, because they wasn't doing that back then. And, you know, as you get tenure within this job, you do gain respect because those inmates, they know you. They've been coming to Rikers Island for years. So when they return, they know who you are. So I haven't, thank God, experienced any type of violence towards me. But I know a lot of my peers have, and they will continue until these policies and procedures change and these inmates are held accountable for their actions. Please clear the road. Clear the road. The mayor has allowed Rikers Island to just get completely out of control. It's ready to blow. The correctional officers are being attacked on a regular basis. The female officers assaulted. The inmates are grouped up in gangs. And unfortunately, they run the system. And our mayor is too busy having concerts out 
and not coming to Rikers Island where he can make a difference. And the other elected officials are not here either. So it's important to make a statement that we stand with the men and women of the correctional department who need an additional 2,000 correctional officers now before Rikers Island blows up, like it did back in 1990. I remember when they had to take over the bridge. That was their only way of getting attention. As mayor of the city of New York, what would you do to change Well, as mayor of the city of New York, I'm the only one to say I was actually locked up here on Rikers Island, so I know what it's like to be on the inside. A number one, the correctional officers have to be respected. You have to have punitive segregation, or what was called uh, at that time, uh, solitary confinement, restored so that those prisoners who have violent tendency are not a danger to the correctional officers, the staff, or the other inmates themselves. Without that tool, then the inmates rule. And that's where we're at right now. Okay, that's the kind of respect we have. I spoke to the commission. Now, we know Tony Herbert. You always represent correction. Tony Herbert? You I said, Commissioner, you don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean we can't force somebody to take the test? You can have a You can have a choice. 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 So what? So what? Safe jails now. 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 You want a kid? She's afraid! Police! Hold the jails! Hold the jails! We came here today in unity! Hold the jails! We came here today in unity! In solidarity! With fathers, mothers, grandmothers, grandfathers, with sisters, with brothers! When they rape you, make sure you fight! Yeah, we're here today uh, to just provide a counter protest to the unions, fear mongering, and some of the misinformation they're putting out. There's a lot of talk about uh, assault on staff, and you know the, the rates of violence we've seen from the Nunes Federal Monitor report. While the population has gone down, and the number of people that DOC supervises has gone down, the rates of violence from staff to people who are detained have actually increased significantly. And they only want to tell one side of the story, but then, you know, it's a weird situation where the union's negotiation was so good that they won unlimited sick time for people who were uniformed officers. And then those same uniformed officers, uh, thousands of them, are not reporting to work day to day. And that's what's forcing union members to work triple shifts because their own colleagues are not showing up to work. Um, so it's interesting that they would be protesting the city or blaming anyone else for the fact that they can't get their own members to show up to work. And that's creating a bad environment, not only for the staff, but the people who are detained too. The devs, we're in this together, the doctors, the nurses, we appreciate you, right? They told us, they told us essential workers, right? We're essential workers and first responders, right? When the city needed us most. There needs to be clear accountability on both sides of the spectrum. Um, and also, there needs to be investigations, clear, transparent investigations into what happened. Just last week, we saw Brandon Rodriguez was reported dead on Rikers Island, and we still don't know the cause of death or the circumstances surrounding that. Uh, so then when there's situations of violence against staff, it's also difficult because we're talking about an isolated 400-acre island in the middle of the East River. There's one bridge on or off of the island. That isolation is bad for everyone involved. Yeah, Brandon Holmes, B-R-A-N-D-O-M, H-O-L-M-E-S.